Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard, Frank. How's it going? This was it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you bought a Slim Jim. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Why did you buy a Slim Jim? Bro, I saw it. Is this a sponsored post that I don't know about? No, it ain't. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just going to slam a Slim Jim on the show? You want a bite? No, I don't. You kind of do. I don't like beef jerky. This is not beef jerky. This is bullshit. That's it's salt, uh, salted meat. It's beef jerky. It is salty. Can you not chew into the mic? I'm disgusted by this. It sounds like you're eating worms. What is that? Slim Jim, baby. Okay, please stop. When was the last time you had one of these bad boys? 1998. Really? Yeah. I'm going to tell you something about me that you're going to probably hate. Yeah. Because, well, most of what you know about me, you hate. Right. Um, <clears throat> ooh, a little spice. I would buy them in high school. And I would just... Put them in my mouth like that. <clears throat> and I'd chew on them all day. <laughs> you would chew on the beef jerky throughout the day? <coughs> You're disgusting right now. I'm disgusted by you. <laughs> Not just the beef jerky, but just like a Slim Jim. I would just, all day, I, I would just be like, the answer is 12. You know? And yeah. I just, this was high school where the answer would... would be more than 12. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 12! The answer would be like twelve apples. C equals X, you yeah. know. Um, and then I would like I would hold it like I was smoking a cigar. That's good. Well, you're getting used to having a, a meat stick in your mouth. That's good. I would be what? What? I mean, we just got back from Key West. Oh boy, did we? And now you're sucking on meat sticks. You want you want to take a little pull? No, I don't want to take. Take a, a little pull. pull. Take a little bite right here. I don't want to take a pull. I <laughs> let's take a little a little beep beep. I'm not eating it <laughs> Why? ever. Why? Because I don't like it. Bro, I, it just how do you remember that you don't like it though? How do, what does that even how begin to mean? How do you mean? remember? Maybe your your taste buds have changed. Maybe I don't fucking want it. Maybe, bro, this is fucking delicious, bro. Cool. This is the regular, so not as it's not super spicy, which they can get spicy. Yeah. This is not like the mild one. This is like the normal spice. And you know, you just you go. A little, mwah. You feel good? I do actually. I'm actually pretty pumped at myself that I got this. But yeah, I will say this. Uh, I know you. You'll get legitimately upset if I don't stop eating this. I'm furious. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just show it in my mouth. Now it's like a little cubano. Like a. Uh -huh. I'm hating it more as time's going on. <laughs> uh, it's not making it better that you're doing that, bro. No Slim Jim commercials. Snap into a Slim Jim. Eat me. Yeah. Those are good commercials. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they are, Frank. They're good, aren't they? I hate this kid. Here's the funniest part about all this. Yeah. I walked in and I said, oh, I have a good way to start the episode. Yeah, this is what... <laughs> Frank, <we're> <laughs> you said, yo, I have something, hmm. but I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm like, oh, all right, cool. And then you just ate a Slim Jim. I just ate a Slim Jim. You never know. I'm a wild card, baby. The next time <laughs> you tell me you have, oh, I have an idea of how to start, I'm going to go, no. Well, no. Now I know the level at which, like, your expectations are. Because you were like, yo, like, how funny is this going to be? I'm like, yo, not that funny. It's just something random. And, uh, you know. Are you having trouble breathing over there? I got to be honest. A little spicier than I remembered. Yeah. Uh, still it, good. It sounds like you're breathing pretty hard over there. It's not easy to be me. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I used man. to I used to suck on it so much that this like the the casing, I'd be able to peel the whole casing back. You want me to show you? No, Frank. I'd like this to be over as soon as possible. <laughs> to be honest with you, I'm I'm sick of this now. Hmm. I can get it off. No, this is too much Slim Jim con content, Frank. Bro, there's never. First of all, first time they're seeing this. This is moving forward. I'm not that. even no, okay, I'm just, mm. Literally, I'm gonna throw up. If you keep <laughs> it's disgusting. But yeah, no, we saw dick and balls in Key West, dude. We went to Key West. We just got back. We we went on a gay bachelor party. So we were expecting, some, as we call it, gachelor. A gachelor party, mm -hmm. and we were expecting some D and B, dick and balls, and butts. I will say, we went with a friend of ours, who's gay. But one of those. Gay people that is like, I hate all other gays. That's a 
rough it's way a stretch. To yeah, it. it's a stretch yeah, too. No. But not, not that he hates all. No, no, no. Not that he hates gays, but like he he doesn't. He's not a big a, part of gay culture. Is like a, a a bit of flamboyancy. Like they 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 tr you know they like to be a little speak on the gay community. Go ahead. <laughs> no 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 no. You're the spokesman. I'm not the spokesman. Tell us how gay people act and what they think and feel and how they how they tick. Tell us how the gays tick. There is a loud part of the community. Wow. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm just backing myself into a <laughs> corner here. <laughs> He's not flamboyant. That's all you have to that's say. That's it. That's what I was looking yeah. for. But you're like, there is a sector there of is, this community. There is a subset. A there's a couple of streets. <laughs> there's, of this. there's a cohort yeah. within this group. Uh, and um, it was, I had been to gay bars before. I thought I went to the gayest bar that I had ever been to. You did not. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. We, the, I think it was, was that the first bar we went Very, to? No. No, no, no. So the first bar we went to was the one where fucking Susan Boyle was singing. That's right. This, bro. Oh, we went to a karaoke bar in Key West. There was a woman there singing uh, The Sound of Music. Bro, listen. Oh, we understand that not everyone is professional karaokers like Joey and I, but... Not a term. You better fucking be on your game if we're coming to town, baby. But not only that, but like, bro, if you're going to do karaoke, pick a song that people are going to sing to. That's Don't what I'm saying. sing Les Miserables. Yeah, <laughs> Come on. She went up there. She was like, I had a dream of love. And we were like, come on, like, bro. Yo, we're, we're all having beers, having a good time, and you're going to go up there and sing fucking Ave Maria? First bar that we, yeah, absolutely, yeah. First the bar we went to, this, it was just, you know, not, not a good introduction. Yeah, no. We got the place a little jumping, yeah. but. Some guy asked me if I was gay immediately. Uh, nice, dude. Walked into a bar, guy's like, you gay? And I was like, nah. And he's like, cool. I got called the cute one. Of our group. I got called, you're next. That's what the guy said. <laughs> you don't remember that? My, I vaguely do. There was a guy that came over. Fucking and he, the gay Goldberg. So let me just explain what happened. <laughs> he did look like Goldberg. He did. All right. But, no. So here's what happened. We go into this bar, a different gay bar than the karaoke bar. There was multiple. Oh, we, we were, yeah. There was gay bars in abundance. But we walk into a gay bar. A cavalcade. Myriad. Go ahead. That's you got, it. You got I, any more? I have two. Jesus. So we walk into this gay bar and then there was like this little hallway and then there was <clears> on the door in the back, there was a sign that said men only. And we're like, well, that's... What, you think that that's the clientele that are coming to the bar to begin with? We're in a gay bar and then that door says no women. <laughs> no and I go, oh, super gay part this of the is, bar. Well, before we went, we, we had, before we got to that bar, because that was like the peak. The one after it was a little, you know, like it, it went over that peak. It jumped the shark a little bit. But right. before that, we went to one and it was like... Bro, like a fucking dance floor, lasers, they were playing good music. Me and Ryan Lynch were just fucking bop, 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 bop. I remember that. Uh, taking some shots, Took drinking some drinks. Yes. Was a good time. Yeah. And the guy, we asked him, like, yo, like, where should we go? And the guy was like, uh, there's a bar close called Bourbon Street. And then there's another one called uh, La Tida. Mm -hmm. And we were like, all right, cool. We saw, like, I think Pete on his phone looked up where Bourbon Street was. Guess what? Right across the street. So we were like, perfect. So we all had a couple drinks in us at that point. We're feeling a little loosey-goose. And then we found the men-only section of Bourbon Street. What was the point of that? Uh, I want to hear myself talk. Clearly. Yeah. <laughs> I just literally got us there. And then you said we went to a bar before. Fuck I'm very, you. I'm very matter of a fact. What, what, what the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with me you for the day? Because like, you're in the yeah. shithouse. In the shithouse. That's not an expression at all. Listen, you enjoyed your fucking Slim Jim. I did. You're done a... now. You want me to take another bite? No. Okay. Uh, but anyway, so we go to this gay bar. And like I said, it was the men only section. We get back there. Immediately, no lie, all men. Which we were expecting. It was actually a sick bar because it was like sand. There was two pools. They had a stage with a, a giant stiletto. Yeah, and they had seating everywhere and like lights, just fucking lights going everywhere. That was the music. Did you hear my? Yeah, I don't know where you went. There was men kissing. There was like there was a couple men kissing. The ramparts, red glare and shit. <laughs> Bombs were bursting. I don't. I'm not gonna tell you where. Bombs though. were bursting. The rockets, red glare. It, I don't. What is the words? I don't even know. Bombs bursting in air. <laughs> I don't know what I said. Gave poop to the night. Yes. Um. But then we go up to the bar, and the bartender has his back to me, and his asshole staring at me, and I'm like, all right, cool, gay bar. Bartender's got his butt out. 
figured. That's it's like expected, you know. So you're like, but this guy's wearing a pouch. Bring Some, a, someone to cover the D and B. Bring a dog to a dog park. Something. There's gonna be poop on the ground, this you know. Dog, exactly. Then the man turned around. Yeah. And he didn't even have nothing. No pouch. So we're talking dick, balls, pubes, like that V, like some hip. Yeah. I saw it all, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I had to order a round of drinks from a man full cock and ball out. Bro, I would like, and his cock and balls were like level with like where he got the cups from. Yeah. I was like, where are you going? Yeah. Where are you going? Can you at least crouch to get the cups? Yeah. Because listen. I am no scientist. I think we've discovered that. Yeah. Uh, but I know a thing or two about food safety. And I got to imagine that uh, full-on dick and balls on on a bar, mm -hmm. not the cleanest, most sanitary thing in the world. It was an interesting feat. I'll say this. The confidence on this man, through the roof. And he also, the bartender was also like still a bartender. Like, you know how all bartenders hey, are kind of like pissed all the time? Like, hey, what do you need? Yeah. yeah. And I was like, dude, your dick's out. Yeah. yeah. It's like your dog, your, you your, your, your yeah, dog is out, dude. He's, he's, <laughs> you got your dog out here. He's got, he's got the whole fucking gang out. He's yeah. hanging out with everyone. Fat Al and the gang are just chilling. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> and you're, you're imagining that he's going to be just like, you know, like he gets it. He's in on the joke. Right. But no, he was still like, all right, what's up, guys? He's like, what do you need? What do you say? You said Miller Lights? Cool. Two Millers? Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah. You know, like, like, give me your card. Like, bro, just pretending. Cock out. He didn't have his cock out. And this is the part that got me. The dogs were in the house. <laughs> yeah, and they were barking. Yeah, they were. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, wait, right after Confidence that. Confidence on this man, by the way. Got the drink. Stellar. Why? Not, not, not a, like, pretty average looking dick. Well, I mean, this, that's the beauty of the human body world. Beauty of the human body, that's right. We should all be less judgmental. Uh, <laughs> right after you said that. And <laughs> more accepting. Yeah. But right after that, we got our drinks and we walked over to a sandy part of the bar and sat down. We did. Uh, and then a gentleman comes over and starts talking to us. Mm -hmm. And Very nice. Yeah. And then immediately he goes, oh, you'd be the next one. And I was like, what does... <laughs> Who's the first and who's the next? So, well, you know? Who's the last? Yeah, he, but we're like, oh, no, we're all straight, but our friend is gay. Yeah. And then he's like, yeah, you, if there was anyone else that was going to be, like, next up to be gay, it'd be you. And I was like, I okay. Yeah. I mean, he singled Took you out. Took that in stride, He singled you out pretty quickly, um, made it abundantly clear that right. he was interested in you. Uh, because that was a little flirtatious on his part, I would oh, say. Oh, yeah, he fucking, yeah. Uh, I, that's where I was called the cute one. Right. So when we were ordering drinks from, you know, from Cthulhu behind the bar. <laughs> What's that mean? <laughs> you don't know who Cthulhu is? Who is that? It's an HP. It's, you look it up. HPV. HP Lovecraft. Gotcha. Um, HP Lovecraft. Yeah, bro. Come on. Fucking broaden your horizons. Uh, you got anime with dick out? <laughs> oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> HP Lovecraft. It sounds like a password. <laughs> or a computer. Sounds like a printer. <laughs> yeah, it's like a... <laughs> <laughs> Got no. the new HP Lovecraft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but and then as as we're getting the drinks, the guy just kindly scratched me on the back of the arm. Scratch. He you? goes, "Excuse me," and he goes, "Ooh," because when we walked in, it was uh, it was a gang of men. It was a gang of men, and they were all very happy to see us because we had pretty much outnumbered everyone that was there. We rolled like ten person deep. Yeah, well, no, there was a good amount of people, and there was like three sets of dudes just fucking. Hooking up. Hooking up dude, hard. hard, dude. I'm talking about, like, hooking up. Like, they, yeah, they were putting hips and shoulder into this. Like, I'm talking about teeth clashing, like, yes. mouth on mouth. Welcome to my mouth. Yeah. Welcome to the jungle, dude. Well, it, that, that, was, that was a thick, dense jungle, baby. It was, it was. Uh, but he goes, you, you know, out of everyone, you're the cute one. I didn't know if it was because I was standing closest to him. I would like to think... I was the cutest. It still am the cutest of all the people over there. Right. Um, it still am. I still <laughs> five days ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Yeah. Uh, so, um, yeah, boy, dick and ball. Then the next. Well, first of all, you remember the bathroom for that place? I didn't go. Oh. <laughs> no. First of all, just just one men's room, which men only. Men only. <laughs> they're, 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 oh, the outdoor bathroom. Yes. Oh, cool. And there was no doors on anything except the stall, which had like a padlock on it. Wait, doesn't that make sense? No, but like a, like a, not like a normal, like, yeah, you know. Yeah, you're saying no doors. Why would there be doors with urinals? No, like no doors to get into the bathroom. 
Oh, open door. Just then. like like you, if you look at the bathroom, you see everything. Gotcha. There was no like around the corner, um, no uh, like the bathroom sink. Not not that not that great. Right. Not working that well. Gotcha. Uh, but then we went to the next bar. What was the next one? So the next bar, we get there, and uh, we order some drinks. As this, we oh, is this la di da? Yeah. Order some drinks as we've been doing. And the guy goes, oh, you guys are here for, you know, talking to us. And we're like, oh, yeah, our friend's bachelor party, blah, blah. And he goes, oh, okay. You guys should go to the back, the back bar. No, no, no. That's yeah. not what he said. And, he go, and we're like, why? What's going on <laughs> in the back bar? And he goes, oh, it's the porn bar. That's what it, he's like, you guys go to the porn room? We're like, wait, what? We're like, what? Why? Where? She's like, what'd you say, Jack? <laughs> You mentioned porn? <laughs> look, look, give me one more time. A mill, two Millers. Two Millers in the and porn the room? explanation on the porn. <laughs> can we get a, and he we said, get a 311 on the porn room? He didn't even elaborate. He was just like, yeah, just go. I didn't end up going. I, I was going to. Yeah. But I didn't. I was approached as I left the bar. Yes. So I didn't get to go either. And um, at this point... Uh, Some of our group made it. Three, I think three of them... Transition to the porn bar. They made it, yeah. And they came out, and guess what? They were on brand. It was porn. It was porn. It was gay porn. It was a very gay porn, apparently. Yeah. There was like a, a gay wrestling match going on. My understanding is that it was a lot of jerking off. That is a part of gay porn. I, I would assume. It's a big part. You know it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. I, no, wait. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, you just tricked no, no, me. No, no, no. no I was assuming. No. <laughs> No, I, and someone took a video, too, which I don't know if that's legal. One of our friends broke the gay law. <laughs> they broke the law of the gay bar, the yeah. porn bar. Uh, but, yeah, there was a bar that just played porn, which I don't know. Are these things even, like, can you – but, I mean, it's Key West. We're on an island, uh, fuck, babe. Forget about Key West. Florida. They do whatever the fuck they want down there. That's fact. They don't give a fuck, dude. Yeah, so I, I missed the porn bar. But. Yeah, I, I missed the porn – I like I missed it like I didn't go not like a oh man like I missed you it was actually funny when I walked outside that bar these people recognized me and then were talking to me and then they were saying a lot of weird shit like it was a guy and a girl <laughs> and the guy was like I'm trying to fuck her husband and then she was like I'm trying to fuck his wife and I'm like cool I'm like I don't know what's you guys going got a on lot to figure out and then the the husband showed up and like he was being cool kind of but I felt like he Felt a little intimidated by you. Not intimidated, but he thought I was like trying to get at his wife or some shit. Because he was going, "Yo, we should get drunk, like right? Let's get fucked up." Me and, and you, like, let's go. Yeah, basically. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, "Yo, what is going on?" You're burying the lead like, my, here. I was like, my friends are in the porn room. I'm trying to just, you know. You're burying the lead here. There was a kid that spoke to people like Keith, where he speaks to people like this. He was very close. And he was like all in your face to the point where, like, I jokingly came over pretending to be your security guard, and I was like. Uh, Mr. Uh, Santagato, sir, do you need me to, you know, step in? And you were yeah. like, get the fuck out of here. But he had a bullet wound in his hand. Bro, <laughs> I come up and he's like putting his hands like in Joey's face. Like, yo, what's up, dude? Like, yo, I remember you from fucking YouTube. And like, <laughs> bro, he had a gash right here. It was a significant On gash. the back. And I just stopped him. I was like, what the fuck happened to your hand? It was like a very, it was like a Jesus style. It, it oh. What? Too soon? Joey, too soon? Too soon. Joey. 2022 no. years too soon. Yeah, but he wasn't crucified on year zero. Yeah, Bro, why do you Wait, think it's called it? before Christ? That might be true. Before the birth of Christ? Yeah. Yeah, but not the death of Christ. Well, what year did... Wait a sec. What year did Jesus die? Like two? I thought it was like negative something. Well, then, then it would be BC because BC goes negative. What year... Did Jesus? <laughs> we stumbled upon something here. Die on the cross. Oh, dude, thirty-three A.D. Anno so, Domani. So thirty-three years. Wait, post post the birth of Christ. Wait. So birth of Christ is like the the. Is that zero? Zero. Yeah. You don't know. It's dude. a big. No, I do. <laughs> uh, that's why it's called B.C. Before Christ. I don't know if that's right, bro. I'm telling you. Then that's what is A.D. Anno Domon Domini. What does that mean? I don't know, but it doesn't mean before Christ. I, <laughs> I know that. What does BC mean? Uh, Did you have, is it like giving you like British Columbia? It says before Common Era. Before I guess Christ. I guess the non-religious, you know, kind of commonly referred to. It. But my understanding, everything I was taught, was before Christ. Anno Domani. What is Anno Domani? It's like, you know, fucking Latin for like lal. I, <laughs> I don't know what it. Whatever, Jesus. Yeah. Eventually, AD. 30, 
Uh, what were we? What a year that was. What were we talking about? Oh we, yeah, the guy had fucking gashes on the back of his hand. hand. Yeah, we were like, yo, back up a little bit. This guy had an open wound. Yeah, he was, you know, um, he had some and, stuff. And then uh, yeah, and then that night ended with finding our friend. Oh. Well, well, we found one of our friends in an alleyway, by accident. By, literally by accident, sitting on an abandoned washing machine. Yeah, which honestly, that wasn't the only abandoned washing machine I had seen all weekend. Yeah, there was one across the street from where we were staying. Why are they abandoning washing machines? Yes, they go out of business quick there, and no one picks them up. Uh, but the highlight of that night was—I uh, don't know—I think we should have the person remain nameless. Yeah. Was a quite a liability, big time. Um. Was, so, for those of you guys that haven't been to Key West, very, a lot of like really old historic buildings, clearly built in like the early 1900s. And there was one that was a bed and breakfast and had like an old white picket fence. <laughs> and our friend, full speed, ran and body checked this thing. Like a goat. Like, like bro, a ram. Bro, not like a fucking hippo. Like a ram. Hippo. Hippos don't do that. I think they body check. Rams do it, dude. Rhino. That would be a better That's one. That's a better one. Yeah. And was trying to destroy this fence. Yeah. And we're like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? And he just kept looking back <laughs> and going, I'm acting. <laughs> it's uh, improv. It's improv. It's a bit. I'm like, stop hitting the fence. And he's like, <laughs> and he's like shaking. <laughs> it, was a, it was a good time. Yeah, we had, the key, a good, we had a good time. Keys were really interesting because our friend fell asleep in the hot tub in fully clothed. Yes, woke up and had alcohol poisoning. Oh, well, that was the day prior. Well, you know, it all kind of blends <laughs> it together. all blends together. It all—that's the the reason. The yeah. genesis of the alcohol poisoning could be the dehydration. That is correct. From sleeping fully clothed in a fucking, and then in the morning waking up sober and microwaving his cash. He microwaved. <laughs> And I was like, dude, that's not a good. I thought the fucking hot tub thing was dumb. Well, he was. This is stupid. He had an excuse for the hot tub thing. He was hammered. Yeah. This the one. sober. He's like, nah, dude. The money. He's like, you, you, you microwave it eight seconds at a time. I was like, just leave it out in the sun. It's ninety degrees, and it's paper. It dries fairly quickly. Eh. You know, it's not like you need to really do much to it. Blow dry that be. Yeah. Uh, but um, there, there are other stories I want to tell, but I know we can. not Well, we don't have to go into super deeds. I was that. really like. It is, so we walked down that main street there, uh, Duval, Duval Street. Yeah, yeah. A ton of bars, dude. Yeah. It is all gay bars. You hit a block, and then it is no more gay anything. Yeah. It was kind of jarring. Like, I was a little, like, it was weird to see, like, it is literally, like, the, I guess the gay bars are, like, their own section of, of the city, and then everything else is, like... I, that makes sense, though. Why? Because if you want to bar hop, I mean, I mean, they can imagine be... having to bar hop, and it's like I got to walk ten blocks now to go to the next gay bar. Yeah, bro. But I'm saying, like, if they're more scattered, like, not if they're just all on the same like fucking corner. And the way that our place was positioned, we were right next to the gay bar, so we would start every night gay, then go straight and come back and get one gay one more time. We'd get gay one more. We went one home. more bit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So that's how we did. Also, <laughs> just to mention before we get off of the keys. Uh, the last day we were there, we ended up at that same backyard gay bar, dick out bartender, but the bartender had clothes on at this point. No dick out, but, but we traded a bartender dick out for a patron dick out. There were two patrons, uh, and they were in the pool and they were they, fucking they, dick they, out they, and they were happy and they were pressing it up against each other. Yeah. Too. And so that bar on Saturday, which we didn't go, I, I kind of wanted to go. Yeah. Uh, had... <laughs> <laughs> naked volleyball naked volleyball tournaments dude in one of their pools yeah. how fucking cool is that yeah I mean volleyball is not a very physical sport I always feel weird about those things because I don't I'm not there to be like what the fuck dude fucking dick. you're there to play volleyball no I'm not that's not what I'm saying <laughs> Joey's not there to like see dicks and drink. No, I'm not. If he's to... going to a volleyball tournament, he's gonna, <laughs> gonna fucking play. Volleyball. I'm gonna win, yeah. dude. No, I'm saying just like super like hyper hyper masculine, like Durr! smack into those yeah. fucking go. Um, no, I wasn't trying to be there to be like, oh, it's so funny. You know, I didn't want it to. be Yeah, that we kind did. Of yes, thing. no, exactly. So that's why I wasn't like, I don't want to. There's a point where it becomes like a gimmick, and and it's like almost disrespectful. 
That's what I was trying to yeah, avoid. Yeah, like we. I, and if there's I, I a volleyball tournament with a bunch of dudes flopping their dicks around, spiking the ball. We were very like. Let's make it very clear. When we saw dick and balls out at this place, we were not like, whoa, whoa. We were respectful. We talked about it after. Right. Yeah. <laughs> On the inside, I was going, fucking guy. The, take it's it all over the place. Right there. Yeah. Uh, but like, there's something like super disrespectful to be straight, man or woman. Go to a gay bar and it's like you're at the zoo. Zoo, yeah, yeah you know. Look at him. Where it's like yo 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 yo. It's like, bro, just fucking, you know, live it up, yeah. suck it down, live it up and suck it down. There was. Uh, Let's get to these ads. Oh. <laughs> no, are you gonna say I was joking? I was gonna say, um, and then a couple blocks down we went to a bar. Yeah. Where there was a full-on male, grown man in a shirt, at a bar, like young man. That said, stomp my flag, I'll stomp your ass. Yeah, I do remember that. But bro, dude, making a state. Making a statement. That's quite the statement that you put no thought into what you were going to wear to go out that night. Uh, it's a tough one to wear. It's like when I went, uh, when I was younger, I was in church. I was young. Yeah. Uh, and there was a guy. Before with, all this blaspheme that we've yeah. done. <laughs> well, that you've done. Um, and, and it said, uh, your ass is grass and I'm going to smoke it. It was also, it was kind of one of those things. That it's like, you oh, had that well, shirt? No, not me. Someone else wore it. Oh, I was gonna say. my dad was like, look at this. And I was like, relax. Yeah, your I dad was like, dude, it's X-Pac. It was a fucking, it was an X-Pac shirt. Oh damn, that's kind of fire. Your ex, your ass is grass and I'm going to smoke it. It's like, bro, the Holy Spirit's around. You can't wear that. Oh, I think the Holy Spirit gets down. What's that little thing they put in the fucking, the little stuff they put in that ball that they swing around and almost take people's heads off with? Dude, it's like holy water. They fucking... No, they're smoking it, it, dude. Oh, incense, bro. Incense. You smoke out the whole fucking church. My church was old, too. When I went, when I was younger, they didn't have air conditioning or anything. So when they started smoking it up, it was smoking the whole fucking... Oh, you throw a little, a little, a little, uh, you know, a little key for a little THC in that son of a bitch? We all get... We make it out. (laughs) You'll you'll be seeing the Holy Spirit, all right? Literally used to hot box the church with that incense it was like bro take it easy on the incense I remember every single time he would light the incense which I don't know when they would do it for I think it was like Easter or some shit I think they did it for like real cool holidays yeah like Palm Sunday yeah yeah yeah. Um, like cool by the church's standard right Palm Sunday is like yo everyone gets a plant I was like alright <laughs> we're taking these leaves and putting them into a cross yeah it's like alright it's kind of tight though I'm not gonna lie Ash Wednesday I used to get a little jealous when I see kids come to school late, which is fucking black shit on their head. Yeah, well, not shit. Well, well, ash. Ash. But the ash of what? Of a of the. They're token up. No, it's just like ash. Uh, that's a good question, actually. What are they burning? Um, do they get the ash sent to them, or do they? You know, some priests are not really good at doing the ashes on Ash Wednesday. Like they. They're supposed to do it in like a cross. It's supposed to look like a cross, but but I would have, sometimes you get a lazy priest and it just looks like a fucking stamp. Yeah, it looks like, like fucking oh. yeah. It's like yo, put some effort into this, Father Moresca. Fucking. <laughs> Just that's, fucking, his fuck, that's his fucking name. Yeah, too. there you go. Just <laughs> Rafiki rubbing the shit on Simba's fucking forehead. Yeah, it's forehead. like, yeah, just, I got, like, you know, because we sat oh, put in the some, back. Put some, put some elbow grease into it. Put some of that know. religious elbow grease. What do they call it? The tabernacle or the something? Tab- the Eucharist? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just No, 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 no. I'm saying, like, what do they call, like, uh, huts, huts, chutzpah? That's, for the, that's Jewish. Yeah, but I'm saying for the, the, the Christians um, or the Catholics. Just, uh, I don't know. Just put some spirit. Put some spirit into it. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Bro. That's got to be it. But uh, you know, we sat in the back. So by the time we got up there, his hand was probably tired, and he was just like, you know, "I never had a good ever. I've never had a good ash. I don't think I've ever gotten ash. I've never gotten a good ashing." But I do remember the kids would like show up like an hour and a half late for school, and I'd be like, "These fucking oh my god, so lucky." I would so want to be religious just to get out of school. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, cool. Let's get to the ad. The first ads that we have on the show today. The first one being hello, better help. Uh, better help. People don't always realize the, the, you know, the physical symptoms like headaches, teeth grinding, and even digestive issues that can be indicators of stress. Um, but if you have some of these things and you are feeling a little bit stressed, it could be helpful. Are you eating the beef jerky, Frank? Bro, these are ads. Can't okay. fuck them up. Um, but yes. So if you are dealing with stress, um, Reach out to BetterHelp. You can talk to a counselor online, uh, and they can start communicating just under 48 hours, and they make it very easy to jump from counselor to counselor um, so that you can um, kind of help someone help you deal with your problems. I've been in therapy for a couple of years now, and it's great. I love it. Even when you're not having anything 
like traumatic going on or anything like that. It's just good to have someone to talk to every single week, like an hour dedicated to that. Um, so yeah, and uh, BetterHelp is customized online therapy. Uh, offers video, phone, even live chat sessions uh, with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. Uh, so they make it you know easy for whatever you want. Uh, it's much more affordable than in-person therapy, um, and you can get. 10% off of your first month at betterhelp.com slash basement yard. Again, that is B E T T E R H E L P dot com slash basement yard. 10% off your first first month. Already affordable uh, online therapy. Um, so yeah, betterhelp.com slash basement yard. Get started with that. Uh, next here we have <clears throat> stamps.com, which brings you all of the amazing services of the post office right to your fingertips in your home um, with stamps.com. You go to their website. Uh, and you get discounts, all right? So not only are you saying saving time by you don't have to go straight to the post office, maybe wait in a line or drive or whatever it is, you can do it in the comfort of your own home, uh, but you also stay, save money as well. Uh, up to 40% off U USPS shipping rates and up to 76% off uh, UPS. Uh, it automatically connects you to stores, bringing together all your shipping information from Amazon, Etsy, Shopify, eBay, and many more, um, but it's great. So like I said, save time, save money, Makes sense. If you're going to be shipping anything, especially if you're a small business that does a lot of shipping, you're going to want stamps.com. Um, stop wor worrying about shipping and start saving time and money today with stamps.com. No risk. And with the promo code basement, you get a, a special offer that includes a four week trial plus free postage uh, and a digital sh shipping scale. No long term commitment either. Um, again, just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in basement. That's stamps.com. The promo code is basement, and you will get all that. Uh, so go check them out, stamps.com. All right, moving on with a story that I wanted. What are you doing? I'm waiting on you. Are you eating the beef jerky? <laughs> You're like a child. You're like a child. Is this what it's like being a teacher and you see people like chewing gum? <laughs> yo, you never, yo, yo, hold on. You know what I never really understood? How pissed teachers used to get at us? Why do teachers treat gum like it's... It fucking ins f Oh, I was going to say something. You're going to say a gun. I was going to say a firearm. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, uh. You were going to say the word firearm? <laughs> Jesus, officer, relax. We were just in Florida, dude. <laughs> no, but like, I remember teachers would see you chewing gum and they go, ah, no. Yeah. But like, why? why? Bro, you know what I recently it's remember gum. too? Not even just that. You didn't go to a public high school. Wearing hats. Bro. Hated what? hats? Bro, you wore a hat in high school. Your hat got taken away and you could get fucking detention. What the hell? Bro, they were mad upset about that. It used to be cell phone. I, I can I imagine. I think it's like an old school thing of like when you walk into a place, take your hat off. Like It's so stupid, dude. I don't, I don't care know. about your home, let alone your feelings. Your home? Yeah, like your home. Like when you go into it and they're like... Oh, no. I'm talking about like if you go into a place of business, you're like, oh, hello, Mary. Well, yeah, because they used to take off their fucking rain hat or whatever they wore on the way there. Yeah. You know? Uh, but, bro, they used to hate gum, dude. Yeah, I don't know. It makes I no do, sense. I, I, it kind of does make sense because I was one of those kids in high school that would get big, like, chewing gum and blow big bubbles and it would be distracting to well, everyone. Well, don't blow bubbles, but you could chew gum. No, like, I get little... the phone thing. Like, oh, don't take your phone because you're looking at your phone. It's distracting, whatever. But it's not like people are playing with their gum and doing sh It's just like they're having gum. No, they really, really did not like gum. I remember phones like were like early on for us, so like it wasn't as bad because like most people didn't have texting well like up until high school for us. But like now, I gotta imagine phones in high schools are fucking rampant, Disaster. dude. But also, you ever get your phone taken away in uh, high school? Uh, I think I think so. Yeah, you've gotten your phone taken away in high school. I, I think so. But my mom worked at my high school, so it would just they just gave it to her. Bro, I've gotten in mad trouble in high school so many times because they go give me your phone and I go no. Because in my head, I'm like, what are they going to do? They're like, we're going to give you detention. I'm like, that's great. I'm keeping Bro, my phone I'll there I'll tell too. you exactly what they would do. They would take... I remember in my high school, they would take kids' phones. I had it made because like... I never gave One, I was phone. a good fucking student in high school. And well, at least 10th and 12th... Uh, uh, 11th and 12th grade. But, and my mom worked there. But bro, I saw kids get their cell phones taken and they would be like, yo, you're not getting it back until your mom comes to get it. And it'd be like days. No way. Bro, if someone took my kid's phone... I'm fucking going to school that day and pimp smacking the fuck out of them, dude. <laughs> I just like, I would just be like, no, I'm not giving you my phone. Not give it to me right now. I'd be like, no. Yeah. Like you're gonna have to take it from my pocket, and even then, I'm not going to let you. Yeah. We, we are. We will wrestle. You'll wrestle that teach. Hundred percent. Teacher yeah. grabs me. I'm fucking pow, dude. I went to a, a Catholic high school. It's nah, all like bro, old just say, people. Just say that roads. you felt like a pinch on your butt, and they'll stop. No, bro. You pinch my ass, dude. Yeah. What, what the fuck? You grab my pussy. 
That's all you have to say. Your teacher would back up. You just got my pussy, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'd be like, no, I didn't. But I would just be like, no, I'm not giving it to you. And they'd be like, oh, no, then I'm going to call your parents. I'm like, I don't, dude, I don't care. I remember once in college. In college, they were like, it was like either. They would take your phones in college? Yeah, bro. Bro, I would that, I would laugh in a professor's I, face. But I'm saying, the story I'm telling here is like, in college, I, I had, um, they would also like, you would like lose points. They'd like put in the syllabus like, yo, if you get caught with your phone, like, you go down a letter grade or some shit like that. Like, they, that, that was their fucking... But I remember there was one teacher who was like, he did literally did not give a fuck what we did. He was like, I have to be here. You have to be here. I don't care what you do when you're here. Literally, he did not care what we did. Right. And uh, there was one day that he had like a student teacher sitting in with him. So he like wanted to show off. And I was playing on my phone. And like, I went to click on a video but like I really quick like went to like m like lock my phone at the time, so I put it down. But the video kept playing, so I was like, I don't, I don't know, I I don't jump, do what I can. Tried to play dumb, so I played it dumb. It didn't work. Right, it did not work. I also got screamed at at a teacher in college by a teacher in college, which is like too old to scream at kids. Yeah, I, I figured you just don't care at that level. Just being like, yo, you want to fucking fail? Be my guest. Like, I don't bro, know fuck. he was one of those teachers again. He literally told us he's like. All I care is you show up. When what you do in this class, I do not care. You could sleep, you could fucking talk to your friend. I don't care. Right. Just show up. And uh, his initials were BK, and like everyone had like a playful banter with him. Awfully close to BJ. Yeah, very close. Everyone had like playful banter with him. Guess not me. People were like, he would like laugh and joke with people. But one day he said something. I was like, you're a clown, BK. He was like, don't you ever. <laughs> I was like, yo, 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 chill out, dude. He's like, no. Don't you ever call me a clown. I was like, bro, I'm just fucking joking around. Oh, he was mad about the clown Yeah, statement. bro. He didn't care about PK. He cared about the clown, dude. Wow. He did not like being called a clown. Wow. I think it was because he was a scrawny little like nerd looking dude. And he's like, yo, I'm not going to let you. He had, a, he had a show dominance. Right. You know, I was six he, foot he six. He topped you. I was six foot six, super ripped abs. And he just needed... <laughs> He just needed to let the world know that he was not a clown. Super ripped ass. Super ripped. Yeah, I, I I only remember being screamed at. Well, I've definitely been screamed at by teachers, but I only remember one time. And, like, I was such a – I was a good student, so I, I, like, didn't really understand when teachers would, like, if they were having a bad day or someone else pissed them off and then I was, like, the, the straw that broke the camel's back or something. Like, I was pretty – I was pretty chill about the whole thing because I was like, I really don't care what happens to me here. Like – Threaten me with detention. Like, well, you're not getting my phone. I don't care if you kick me out of school. Like, you guys are insane. Like, you're not getting This isn't wild to me. Yeah, you were. You got to play it careful, though, because you were at a private school. And they could fucking do whatever the hell they want there. They yeah. could put in their law books that they could beat you and fucking torture you in a chamber. <laughs> I would have fought back. But my, my, one of my teachers, like, screamed at me because I was doing this worksheet. And he asked me a question. I wasn't paying attention. But I was doing the worksheet that he had given us. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. I was doing the worksheet. He's like, get out. And I was like, what? <laughs> He's like, get out of my class. And I was like, dude, why? I was like doing the fucking worksheet. He's like, get out of my class. I was like, Jesus, all right, fine. So I'm leaving and I walk out the door. This dude slammed the door. The fucking hinges almost came off. <laughs> and that just like enraged me. Cause I'm like, bro, I, like, it's not like I was like- He's trying to make an example of you. Not whatever. you, not YouTube. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> so I was like, what the fuck? So I opened the door and I was like, relax, dude. And I shut the door and left. You just started a fire. I did, but you he never a... he never came out into the hallway. Oh, he never chased you? Nah, I would have scrapped with him right there. Bro, I would have chased the shit out of you. Nah, he was a big dude. He was lanky. Bro, I I don't know. Like there must there had to have been more moments where our teachers just wanted to beat the dog shit out of us, but 100%. they but they didn't. My I got domed by. Uh, <laughs> You're calling it that? <laughs> by my you got topped. My math teacher once. I like missed like two days of school. And I came back and we were doing, I don't know what the fuck we were, oh, it was like cosine and 10, bro, I never caught up to any of that. Love that And shit. I was like, can we go over this? This dude flipped on me, dude. Really? He was like, we're not going backwards because you were sick and your immune system. I was like, yeah, Yo, you're sunning my immune system? Damn, he fucked you up. I got, my averages, I remember like in, in that class were like, because there was four, it was like the whole year. Yeah, it was the, like, the marking periods. It was like 82, 85, 61, 85. I was like, <laughs> because I couldn't, once you missed that, it was like we didn't even talk yeah, about that's it. Yeah, that's a big foundation. I had foundation. a feeling he was hiding from me. Like he was hiding. Like, he wanted you to fail. Like 100%. He wanted you to fail. It was a learning moment for Dumbed you. Dumbed me, dude. We, uh, in high school, we had, um, 
every kid, like every every day, had uh, like a gym class of some sort. Whatever it would be, like softball or or you know, basketball or football, whatever. And ours was. Uh, football and our football coach taught it and he would just pick, literally he would just hand pick all the kids that he wanted in the class because we would have kids that weren't on the football team they would do whatever the fuck they wanted and he, we would have the kids that were on the football team that were in the class would just go over tape game tape and stuff like that yeah. and it, there was one kid that was in the class who was a friend of like all like the Yugoslavian kids that we know um, <clears throat> Carlos okay and our football coach hated him so much <laughs> that every day it became like a running gag. Like, you know the running gag of, like, uh, DJ Jazzy Jeff getting thrown out of the fucking house in Fresh yeah. Prince? Bro, every day it became a running gag on how he was going to get kicked out. <laughs> and it was the funniest shit. Bro, like, just the dumbest. Like, he, he wouldn't have to do anything. The teacher would, like, our coach would be talking. And he would, like, sneeze. And he'd go, Carlos, get out. Yeah. <laughs> and and the, we would pop so hard. But there was one time. Where we would always tell like our coach stories about like when we would like go out and stuff like that. And the kid Carlos was telling the story. He's like, I met this beautiful girl and I like and my coach was like, Alright, like you like you took her on a date, were you like a respectful man? He's like, Yeah, 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 but I don't he, he, his words. He's like, uh, the, he's like, I don't know, um, you know, if she's really my type. And the coach is like, why? What, what, what do you mean she wasn't your type? He's like, oh, I just, you know, like, I, I have a preference in women. And he's like, all right, well, what's your preference? He's like, well, she was a mix. And he's like, I, I like women that are just like one thing. Like, they're just Italian or they're just Irish or they're just black or whatever. And he goes, well, why? And he goes, well, coach, she was, she was Blyrish. And our coach goes, Carlos, <laughs> get out. Blackish, black and Irish. <laughs> wow, you know something. Bro, uh, and he fucking, it, you know, we would pop so hard. It was the funniest shit. And then he would just roam the hallways. Like he didn't care where he went. He just wanted him out of the fucking class. That that happened to me one time in seventh grade. Our math class. I, I think there was something where like our math class was like really bad and our average was down. So they were sending us to a different math class, like as an elective or something, because everyone got to pick an elective, but mm -hmm. our class would have to do math yeah, yeah, yeah. on like a different floor. So we went and this, it was like the first day and we're lining up like outside the classroom, they're letting everyone in. And then she just, she goes, all right, these names meet, like stay outside. And it was like me and like three of my friends or three or four of my friends. And they're like, she's like, you guys are going to Project Save. And we're like, what the fuck? Why? Project this Save? This woman that we never met before. That sounds like an evil villain's fucking corporation to like kill kids. You know what Project Save was in my middle school? The entire day, you had to sit in this one small room with boards like this. So you couldn't see to the left or right of you. And you did work the entire day. You could go to the bathroom twice. And you had to line up. And you go into the bathroom one at a time. There was no talking. Bro, this sounds yeah. like kind of scary. You weren't allowed to go outside for recess. And that, that was like, that was Project Save. So they wanted us to go there for the elective. So she's like, go to Project Save. Our, this class is on the fourth floor. Project Save was on like the second. So she's like, go. So we start going and we're walking there. And then my, this kid, George, was just like, bro, we're not going. And I was like, fuck. I was like, all right. So we don't go. And then the security guards are looking for us because they're expecting us to be at this thing. And now I'm like, I'm like already like, I just, it's fucking, the elective was a half an hour. So I'm like, bro, we're not doing the whole day there. Like, it's a half an hour. Like, I don't care. Bro, we're at the top of the stairs, and we can hear the security guys coming. And I'm like, yo, let's just fucking get out of here. Let's just go to... And this kid, George, just leans over, yells down the stairs, fuck security! <laughs> and I go, bro... And now I'm stuck in this. Yeah, so now I'm, you're trapped. I just start running away. Bro. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, yeah, I'm trapped at this fucking Listen, kid now. Listen, I don't know... Hit in the bathroom rest of the period. Bro, kids in high school are... And middle school are fucking ruthless, dude. Yeah, I would never want ruthless. to Ruthless. They're out for blood. They don't give a fuck. And they're like, they'll do and say anything that, like, yo, it, there were kids in our school that would just fucking unload on some of these teachers. I, I heard, bro, wild shit in some of these classrooms. Bro, I've seen a kid punch a teacher in the face. I also saw my friend scream a, a, a substitute teacher's name. And then he was wearing, he was, because our substitute teacher, I, oh my God, it was Mr. Like Green something, but he had, oh no, it was Gornick, but he, he had a fucking newspaper that he would just read and he wouldn't do anything. And some kid yelled his name and he just folded it down. And then this kid just threw an eraser and hit off his head. <laughs> and I was like, dude, and I literally was like, dude, 
Like, what the fuck are you doing? And then he ran out of the class. Never. Dude, psychopaths. Dude. Yeah, I was like, dude, what is fucking wrong with people? Bro, the most dangerous group of people in the six world. Six to eighth. Terrible. <laughs> From six to, six to oh, like, 11th. Yeah. That last year, people were like, all right, maybe we need to figure it out. But six to 11th grade, no rules. Maniacs. Um, all right, let's get to these second uh, buck, buckets of ads. And then I'm going to get to the story that I need to tell you because I, I think you have no idea what's going on. Um, but this next one we have here is Green Chef. Green Chef is a uh, certified meal kit company. Um, a Green Chef makes it easy to eat well um, with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, whatever you are, uh, you're looking for any type of uh, specific meal plan, they have it for you. Uh, they have recipes that suit your preferences. Um, they have sustainable foods. Um, they have, uh, like I said, they have all these types of things. You go on their site and you pick what you want and then you get it to your house pre-portioned. They teach you how to cook it, you make it, it's amazing. And uh, you, uh, they're green. So you're saving your carbon uh, footprint um, and it's amazing. Um, so yeah, go check out Green Chef. Uh, go to greenchef.com slash basement130 and use the code basement130 to get $130 off plus free shipping. Uh, again, that is greenchef.com slash basement130. Uh, use the code basement130 to get $130 off uh, plus free shipping. But it's great. It's a, you know, they have expert chefs that curate every recipe so you can enjoy restaurant quality dishes at home without compromising on taste. And it's more affordable. And you're saving $130. Come on, folks. Uh, this is a great way to get into cooking and it's a great way to you know, learn about these new recipes, which is probably the hardest part about cooking is knowing like, what should I make? These people do that for you while staying in the, the you know, in bounds with your, your diet. Um, so yeah, go check them out, uh, Green Chef. Uh, and then lastly here, we have uh, Blenders. Blenders is an eyewear company, all right? Chase Fisher is the guy's name. Started Blenders by selling his beachy shades out of a backpack while doubling as a surf instructor on Pacific Beach. I mean, let's be serious. If you're gonna buy sunglasses from anyone, it's a person named Chase that was selling sunglasses <laughs> out of his backpack on the beach while doubling as a surf instructor. <laughs> this is the guy that you wanna get your sunglasses from. You're not wrong. All right, and unlike expensive big brand shades that you probably like lost or smashed in the past, blenders are actually affordable. Uh, so you're not going to cry as much when the inevitable happens and you shatter them and, you, you know, you sit on them or whatever. I literally slept on my glasses last night in bed. Gone. Smith bent, smithereens. I actually bent them back so we're okay. But if they're sunglasses, they're like plastic or whatever, snapped. It would have yeah. been done. Um, luckily, I don't wear sunglasses to bed. Um, <laughs> Blender's team of in-house designers are constantly coming out with new styles from orange polarized wraparounds, uh, tortoiseshell frames with purple lenses to classic gold arms with black uh, lenses. I have a pair. But I forgot to bring them. But they're they're these big, fight like they're like turquoise green. Damn. No, Sam, send me a pair, baby. Yeah, we're gonna get some in there. Um, th it's not just sunglasses. Also, they have prescription glasses, uh, readers, blue lights, as well as a snow collection with goggles and accessories. So, any type of like eyewear you need, you're gonna go to Blenders because, like I said, the guy's name's Chase. His last name's Fisher, by the way. Fish. That's a very white name. Yes, it is. <laughs> I don't know if he's white. Uh, to score fifteen percent off uh, Blender's purchase, you don't know if he's white. <laughs> I may have, have you heard everything else about this? We can assume, but I'm just saying I don't know for sure. Uh, to score fifteen percent off with Blender's purchase, visit BlendersEyewear.com and enter the promo code Basement VIP. That's BlendersEyewear.com code Basement VIP for fifteen percent off. Go to Blender's, get some, rock them. They're amazing. The summer's coming, babe. Let's go crazy. All right, and that's all we have for today on that. Now, to get for, to this uh, pretty uh, disgusting big thing that I had found, I had heard about. You showed you me. You can't a, start an episode talking about bing bongs that we saw in Key West. No, this is, boy bing bongs, and then you say a pretty big, disgusting, meaty, dripping, wet, you added, throbbing. I feel like you added a lot of stuff to what I said. So like one or two. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. Um, but no, I don't know that I because I had seen this on TikTok. The and ticky. The, and then you, on, on the old talk, and you kind of reminded me because you're like, oh, did you hear about this? And I was like, no, bro. I have a better story. Worse? Yeah, way worse. Oh, no. So the story that Frankie is mentioning is this guy just discovered that his daughter was making porn. Like she, she had a pretty X-rated OnlyFans, only fans. and she had a porn hub and stuff like that, and I was like, <laughs> okay, cool, whatever. I read the one quote from it, and I was like, we have to talk about this. He was like, as soon as I saw the first picture, I knew it was her, and it was like, bro, what did you see? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> it could have been her face. Listen, though. what the fuck did you see? That's that you... my daughter's ass. <laughs> no, I'm hope he's. A... Yeah, yeah. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but no. Do you think any part of me would be instantly recognizable? Yes. Not my face. Like if you saw just my ass, would you be like, "That's Frankie's ass"? Mm, I don't. I haven't seen your ass in a while. Can you pick? Did you I know. I just, just, I just saw, saw it before. <laughs> I literally just saw it today. I walked through my ass out. Yeah. I wanted to show you the goods. No, I couldn't. Pick my that tasty up. cakes. No, I couldn't pick that up out of a line. You don't think so? You could. You could recognize me. I think I could, Joey. What part? Your ass. My hole. I remember in sixth grade you had long ass pubes. What? Seventh grade. I had long pubes in seventh grade. Yeah. Or eighth. What? The older it gets, the worse it is. I guess so. But yeah, Lawrence uh, <laughs> Um No, but in this account, in this in this situation, it's mm-hmm. case. I'm gonna call it a case. Oh, it's a case. It's a case. Um, I had saw it on TikTok, and it was like one of those videos where it's like they just write a bunch of shit. Yeah, where it's like, and I was like, I don't really believe what I'm ri- reading here, but I'm just gonna read the article because there's an article uh, in a series of TikToks posted on January 28th. Uh, TikTok and OnlyFans creator. Her name's in there, but I don't really no, care. Don't, don't do it. Say. Don't let it fly. Uh, Just de- call her Frank Alvarez. It's Frank Alvarez. Uh, detailed the childhood sexual abuse she says she suffered from her father and other adults, uh, which culminated in Frank Alvarez discovering that his father... Okay, no, this, is not, <laughs> this ain't working. That, this is not where I thought this was going. ...subscribed to her OnlyFans. Bro. Right? Hold on. That's bad. That's fucking... That's horrible. Yo, the father, is crawling, the father was subscribed to this girl's OnlyFans, right? That uh, who, whom he sexually abused. I, I, I guess I, that part I didn't know, but the only part that I knew was that this girl found out that her father was subscribed to her OnlyFans, right? Now we can all agree, icky, gross, pure evil. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then, uh, she wrote that she found out her father had been subscribed to her OnlyFans. Um, with two accounts, by the way, because one's not enough. Need two accounts for I, over a year. I don't understand that. He, yeah, he needed to be two different people. And how do you think she found out? Give it a guess. Check. You know what? Don't guess. I don't know why I'm even putting you in that yeah, kind of seat. Say, uh, you... No. So according to her, uh, the only way she, she, this is her quote. The only way I found out is because he called me to. Play with myself uh, for hundred and fifty dollars, and she could hear her mom talking in the background. Bro, how fucked? Why did you choose this story over mine? We could have made fun of mine. I mean, this is crazy. This is fucking nuts. It's fucking. I mean, this man deserves jail. Oh, and a and a and a swift fucking nine millimeter in between his eyes. Well, a swift therapist, I would say. Well, too. well, it's, <laughs> I think my my way is a little funner. I would say. Uh, not a you don't kill this man you torture him a little oh, you, and then kill him and then you make him do therapy and then then kill him well <laughs> nah bro i can't that's so fun this dude. is like this guy i i first of all i hope he got did she like file like a fucking some sort of like did she like block him file some shit because i like, can't you like in terms of like internet like uh what's it called like stalking, can't you fucking figure out ways to like block people so they can't come back with like different names and shit like that? Um, I don't know. I think I mean if you can't, that's fucking insane, dude. Yeah, that's this not... is evil, pure evil. This guy, I I don't like. I don't want to make fun of this because it's like. Well, we're not making fun of it. I just like you reminded me of the story, and it's like, wow, that's a fucking crazy thing that happened, and like, what the fuck? But this is like, God. bro, how do you? And then, like, how do you go to your dad and ask him? Like, hey, by the way, I... I don't think she did. Well, she... I, I. Well, she had to have confirmed it if she knew it was two different accounts. That I don't know how that happened, how she confirmed it was I two assume, I assume, I assume. I assume. I assume. But I feel like that's a, a person's worst nightmare. Like, if you're going to have an OnlyFans account being like, well, I hope my coworkers, family... Well, the worst nightmare probably started with the abuse. That's not what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm talking about, like, for... Every, the population of people who do OnlyFans, you're like, I hope my family and whoever don't see this. And blah, blah, blah. well, the story that I had brought to you, like the guy had discovered it and like tried to talk to his daughter about it and just said, like, listen, like, as long as you're, you know, being safe and smart and you know this is out there forever, like, I respect your decisions. And she apparently was like, not cool. Like, she was like upset about it. She was upset about what? Her, her dad like speaking to her about that type of shit, and like, 
I feel like that was a that was a pretty that's a pretty responsible and adult thing to do. Yeah, to, to a way to approach that. You find out your daughter's making OnlyFans stuff. You'd be like, hey, listen, I just want to you know. get in the fucking car and I'm gonna beat your ass. Wait, what? Like, I would be very. I would take a different approach. Like, what the fuck are you doing, <laughs> bro? I'm sorry. Like that, and I, I, of course, like through time, I'm sure I would have to have some sort of fucking conversation. But like, my initial reaction would not be like, oh. Well, let's talk. Well, that that article that you're talking about, that guy waited. And I'm saying I'm wrong. I'm just want to make that very clear. Like <laughs> I know I'm wrong. I just I, I don't think that would be my appropriate reaction. Yeah, I mean, you, I mean, your kid do what you want, but uh, I think that article, which I read a little bit of it, the one that you sent me, that guy waited like I think a full year before he said anything. He didn't like. He's not. He wasn't subscribed Bro, to it. That's still a lot. He just dude. like. No, but he just. Oh like yeah, I knew. saw that. He, he like. He knew, and he told her like a year later at like a family function. He like spoke to her about it. Oh, that's not the place. Come on, dude. Read the room. Dude, go to Applebee's. Read the it. room. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. Don't man. say it in front of grandma. I am very aware that like my reaction would be inappropriate and wrong, and I would probably need to be like, you know what, like you're a grown woman at this point. Bro, I would never say. Anything I don't I actually you know what I have dreams I, of being the type of father that like oh I thought you were saying like I have dreams that my kids get into porn no I was no like no. Joey I, pull back I, I hope that I have a relationship with my kids that they're very open to the point that when they're like 16, 17, they can talk about sex Bro, and like do whatever I do too I, I like I would rather that. Instead of like trying to hide it and like doing like, I have to admit that's that's I think uh, my parents never talked to me about sex ever. Bro, zero. One time, my dad sat me down and all he said was this: with zero context, there was no sex. I was not going out on a date. There was nothing. Joey didn't have sex ever. I have. I have. I have yet. No. So. Uh, <laughs> no, he has plenty. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Don't worry. He fucking he pulls. I'm about to hear it, dude. Um, but my dad, all he said to me out of nowhere, right? I'm like sitting on the couch and he comes over and he's like walking out the door and he just goes, "Just want to let you know." Just be safe. By the way, no context. No context. Oh, you could be, just be safe. You could be blue. You could be yellow. You could be red. You could be whatever you want. Just be safe. And he left. And I was like, what the fuck is that? And then I had to figure out that he was talking about condoms. Uh, bro, your dad was so proud of that. Your dad walked out of there and in the car, threw on some fucking Leonard Skinner and, and was just like, like, just like this. yeah. <laughs> he just went, yes. Yeah. And you could be blue. You could be blue. I was like, I was racking my brain. Yeah, I was that, like, what is he that talking doesn't, that about? That doesn't make any sense. My, I grew up in a home, and I didn't notice how apparent it was until uh, Becca's family are very comfortable and, like, an emotionally, like, mature way of speaking to each other about stuff. Like, it never gets inappropriate. They Like, they've always been very, like, you know, they acknowledge that each other have, like, their own, like, personal lives and stuff like that, but... It was so jarring to me because I grew up in a house that was the opposite. Yeah, me too. My dad spoke to me about it once... And he was, well, I guess twice. And the first time it was like, don't get fucking anyone pregnant. <laughs> don't fucking do this. Wear your condom. Bah, bah. And then the other time when I asked my dad to buy me condoms, I, you would have thought it was the 4th of July. Yeah. But outside of that, dude, like my siblings and I never spoke about it. My parents yeah, and I no. never spoke about it. It was just, we just didn't talk about it. And I don't think that the other end of the spectrum is right either. Where, like, parents are like, yo, you getting that fucking pussy tonight, bro? Yeah. I think that's stupid and inappropriate, too. That's heavy. There but, needs to be some sort of, like, boundary. But I do think, it, I, I wish the conversation was more yes. with my parents. Because they just pretended, like, no one's fucking. What is, what is fuck? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. It, bro, exactly. It was like, you're not, ha you're not having sex? Yeah. <laughs> Don't do it! <laughs> we're being loud. My parents were, like, cool, though. Because I feel like with a, with a lot of things, like, it, they never really cared about what I was doing too much. It was like, keep... Like call me, like keep in contact, be home at these times. But other than that, just like do whatever you want. Like we were walking to school in like fucking third and fourth grade, which is like insane. When Dude, you think about it. Super. Now that I have kids, yeah, that's nuts. Mad young. That's really young. So they were like trusting in in those ways. But when it came to that, they were just kind of like, like I remember one time specifically. I don't know if I've ever said this on the show before, but a girl had come over, and I guess she brought like a little thing of KY jelly. Which I did not Bro, use, and I was not banging butts. I, I was, back then. Not even just butts, but you were just like young kids. You were both primed and ready to go. Yeah, like <laughs> fuck, you need KY jelly for? You took it away from a horny old man that I, night. I think it was just I didn't bring it. It was she brought it, but then she had left it. Oh, do I know who? No. Bro, oh, what wait. did you have over that I didn't fucking know about, <laughs> bitch? <laughs> I thought you meant. Never mind. Um, You'll tell me after. Yeah. yeah. So she left in the middle of the night. It was a sneak-in job. 
Oh, sne- so, uh, sneaky snacks. Yeah, yo, aunt. By the way, don't clip this. <laughs> <laughs> Do not clip this. Don't, please. Because my mom will see this. And yo, who cares? That is weird. Yo, Liz, wait till you hear what happens next. Shut up. <laughs> um, Number 10 will surprise you. <laughs> so, uh, so the, it was just like on the ground. Mm-hmm. And my mom came down in the morning to like do laundry or something. And she goes, what is this? And I she go, knew what it was. Bro, duh. Your mom's horny. She yeah. gets it. Frank. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, dude. <laughs> it's okay, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> so go on. So, Frank. Uh, so she goes, what is this? And I was like, I, and I, I had just woken up. <laughs> So well, I, it's like my eyes had been crusted over with pink eye. I was going, well, I can't, what? And I, I was like, I don't even, what is that? And then she just like took it and went into the next room. We never talked about it. And never. So it was never like, you know, who, are you fucking ass? Who is this? Bro. You know? I mean, I, but I think it is like of our parents' generation, they see KY, they don't go to butt stuff immediately because that was like. I mean, I, what was that? Maybe she thought I was. Absolutely hammering my wiener. Yeah, last night. just like you would jerk off. You'd go by KY Jelly just to jerk off. I would hope my mom was thinking I was doing anal and not just jerking off with a jelly. <laughs> I think she. I would hope she thinks I was cooler than that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping she. Assumed. Oh my god, my son jerks off. <laughs> no, I was just like, no, I was fucking banging butts, dude. <laughs> Bro, that'd be so fucking fun. No, yeah, we. <laughs> I actually never considered. That she thought you were just jerking off Until right now. Yeah. I always assumed that she thought I was, like, nailing butt. I think my my family, I don't know if, if my dad as much, but definitely my mom, uh, was to the point where, like, it was, like, out of sight, out of mind. If it, it, she didn't want to know it was happening, and if it yeah. was, if she didn't know it was happening, it wasn't happening. Right. You know what I mean? There was, I'll tell you this, and don't clip this, there was one time that I almost <laughs> got real caught real quick, but, like, I didn't. <laughs> Because um, there was like, remember there was like an old van in my backyard. Do I remember? Yeah, and one of the like there were multiple for some, for some reason. Yeah, you guys are just collecting vans. Yeah, one of them was my uncle's that he used for work, and uh, kids being kids wanted to go in there and stuff like that. And my mom was sitting on the deck with her friend. Oh boy! And we were like, you know what? Nah, we we're we're it's too close. Like we can't. Like we were like, uh, yeah. and we were like, no, no, no. Oh, you were gonna bang bang. Five minutes later. My uncle showed up to pick up the van. Like, yo, not even five minutes later. He would have caught you. My, Because my uncle also would have been the type to have been like, hey, guess what? Bro, he gave me for like my 12th birthday, he gave me a card that said, I know what you're doing in the shower. Happy birthday. It's like, what the fuck, Gosh, dude? This is not an uncle card. This is not an uncle card. <laughs> Jesus. You know, like they're trying to be cool uncle or something yeah, like that. It's but, like, no, I know you fucking touch yourself. Yeah, no, so, yeah. dude. They, My parents were definitely... But yes, I... I got to tell you, I would not be good at it. Thank God. Becca is so fucking good at establishing like a healthy line of communication because... Kid's six. Bro. You guys talk about this? No, we don't talk about that. But like he's seen like two men kissing and instead of just being like, oh, yeah, we like tell him like they're men and men love each other. Like, yeah, that's easier than like... like no, we're not telling him like you know. All right, but wait until he tries to s- peepees and butts and shit like that. But like, there's she. Um, what I'm saying is like she is very good. Wait until she finds a bottle of KY in his fucking room. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. No, that'd be a that'd different be a, conversation. That'd be a big problem. She's like, <laughs> what is that? What the fuck? What's he jerking off with? No. Um. But like I'm saying, thank God she's better at establishing that communication because me. Yeah. I'd be like, don't you fucking tell me. I don't want to hear a thing. Yeah. You know, you son of a bitch, <laughs> bro. I one time, like as a joke. Our nephew was over, and he's like 16, and I made the joke like, uh, better wear a latex, because if not, she gets your paychecks. And, like, I expected a gasp. Like, people to be like, oh, Frankie. But everyone was like, yep, make sure you wear condoms. And I was like, this is a really, this yeah, is a really yeah. smart, mature group here. Or there's a lot of divorce. My mom would have been like, Yo, get over yourself. Oh, what yeah. are you doing? Your mom, I could tell her like, oh, I kissed this girl. She's like, oh, my God. Yeah, my mom. I just my mom, made your mom I, Jewish. Somewhere. Yeah. Is <laughs> she? Close enough. Yeah. My mom actively tells me she doesn't watch the show because <laughs> she doesn't want to find. She out. doesn't want to find out anything. She's like, "You guys just you say such dirty shit, <laughs> and I don't want to fucking hear it." And I was like, "Ma, you know, like, what's up?" Oh God. Good times back yeah, then. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I was never like caught or walked in on or anything like that. No, I mean either. I never been caught doing anything. I don't think. I was pretty sure there was like a couple years because I, I, I had a room in the basement. My mom hadn't come down into the basement. 
for like eight months unless she was doing laundry. Yeah. Like no, like come down to like talk to me, like hey, what's up? Blah, blah. Yeah, no, my mom wouldn't do that either. But I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I would love call to your mom right now and, and tell her what and ask her about the KY thing. See if she remembers. Hell no, she bro. I'll know. give you ten bucks. Wait, what? <laughs> You're gonna give me ten dollars, dude? Bro, I'll give you ten bucks. That worked in that worked in Key West. <laughs> that worked in 1999 <laughs> for drink. For, that worked in Key West for drink. Someone drinking mimosas. Let's make that very clear. It was twenty. Bucks. It was twenty bucks. He made yeah. fifty dollars drinking mimosas that day. By the way. If you go to Key West, there's a brunch spot. Ocean, what is it? Ocean. Ocean by Ocean by the Grill. Ocean and Grill. Ocean I don't know. Grill. Ocean Grill. Something. Eight dollars bottomless in big cups. <laughs> we were. I drank a bottle and a half of champagne. Bro, legitimately, one of our friends turned to us and said, "This is the worst eight dollar investment this place has ever made." <laughs> Bro, we walked out of. The, we had like twelve people deep. We walked out of there, all of us getting bottomless mimosas. We paid like two fifty. Yeah, yeah, the whole bill with our food was two hundred fifty bucks. Bro, was, yeah. I even tipped a hundred. Did you really? Yeah, because I was like, that was incredible. Oh, okay, bro. We drank a thousand dollars in champagne, probably. <laughs> like that was insane. <laughs> yeah, we did, what? and it was the cheap champagne too. Like, the, like, tw- like eight dollars a case. We were hurting. Yeah, it was, uh, and I had a bloody there too. Pretty good. Ugh. But uh, disgusting drink. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Call your mom right now. I'm not calling my mom. Come on, that'd be funny. Hey, ma, remember that time? To- why would I? Why would I do that? Should I call my mom and ask her if she's ever walked like like thinks that she heard us getting a little you know how you doing in the basement? Why'd you say us? Like my yeah. brothers and I oh, because I my brothers had a room down me there. And you. I no, was like, we've never <laughs> unless I was. I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> I think I remember that one. <laughs> the way you said that. Gay. <laughs> Jesus. Um, but I think we can wrap yeah, up there, right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Let's go get a beer and a cigarette. Let's go. What, no, well, <laughs> <laughs> what we will do, though, is we'll tell people to head over to Patreon. Patreon.com slash the basement yard. So as of recording, we're like a little, like a little away from 10,000. I think we literally have like 70 left. And at 10,000 patrons, we said that we were going, well, I was going to be going under the knife. No, under the waxing strip. Under the, under the wax. Under the strip. To get uh, waxed, a Brazilian wax. So as of hearing this, it might have already happened. Uh, but if not, and we didn't make it for the month, month of March, let's get for the month of April, baby. Yeah. Where are we? That doesn't matter. They're, they're going to hear this after. But go check it out. Uh, when you subscribe to the Patreon and become a patron, uh, that first tier, you get these weekly episodes a week in advance. Get in on those jokes six, seven days before everybody else. And then uh, if you go up to that next tier, that... Friday, baby. Every single Friday, you get exclusive episodes uh, that nobody else gets to see except for our patrons. Start your week, end your week with The Basement Yard. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Yep, and you guys can follow me at Joe Santagato. I'm go follow the show at The Basement Yard on TikTok and Instagram. And that is all. See you guys next time. We'll see you on the flibbity pip. Don't ever say that again. Okay, sorry. <laughs>